In this week's drone news update, we'll talk about Matternet's new FAA production certificate, a new development in the DJI data security, and then some Mini 3 information that came from the FCC. Let's get to it. Your first story this week is Matternet, who has received a production certificate from the FAA. Uh, as you might recall, in September, we reported that Matternet was getting a standard type certificate for its uh, M2 delivery drone. This allows Matternet to now produce, test, and issue airworthiness certificate for the delivery drone, which is kind of a big deal. Their drone essentially follows the same process that an aircraft manufacturer such as Piper, Cessna, or even Boeing uh, would use to build or maintain their aircraft. Matternet is the first drone delivery manufacturer to actually get this type of certificate. And funny enough, their CEO will be on the Pixel Drone Show this Tuesday to discuss how they are using their delivery drone in the medical world. Your second story this week is DJI and data security. Yes, it's been a while since we've talked about this. DJI made an announcement this week that both the Department of Commerce and the Canadian Center for Cybersecurity have recognized their DJI Core Crypto Engine. Now you may be wondering, what is the DJI Core Crypto Engine? Well, it's a firmware cryptographic module that provides security services to their entire platform on the drone. Uh, this technology makes the drone compliant with a federal information processing standard called FIPS 140-2. If you know, you know. This is a continuation of the ongoing debate about Chinese drones and their cybersecurity uh, that's been going on now for at least the last two years. And finally, this week, short week, the Mini 3, not the Mini 3 Pro, but the Mini 3 has shown up in FCC filings, uh, suggesting that there's gonna be a release of the drone probably in the next few months. Uh, DJI leaker Osita Oz LV, uh, who's famous for uh, the DJI leaks, has shared the label information on the new drone, but information on the drone itself actually has been pretty limited. Uh, we haven't seen any other leaks regarding the camera, the sensor size, the flight price, uh, or the flight time, not the flight price, and uh, the, the pricing. So uh, we'll let you know when we hear more, but that's all we have for you this week. As always, leave your comments and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.